unfortunately, I'm unable to put this back together the way I took it apart. This uh, reverse, I don't know what you call it, lever switch something. Um, it kind of pulled its way out from between these two forks. When I took it apart, I was able to leave the entire gear set in this larger half and, and, and pull this top piece off. And this kind of just like wiggled and allowed it to come out. Didn't realize that it was gonna have to get in there again and there's no way for me to get that, to, to leave it attached to this side and to get it back in there easily. So I'm gonna have to take this entire gear set out and put it in here. The only videos I was able to find online of uh, the disassembly or reassembly of the transmission were only for Evo 8s and, and 9s, which is great if I was working on that one, but I'm not, I'm working on that one. So that said, uh, I am trying to determine whether there's any way to put it together with this piece still on this side. Gotta have the, the point uh, marked on the left hand side as it sits. But I don't think there is. Uh, the Evo 8 and 9 I think actually has a reverse gear. That's with that extra little um, black metal container or lid is on the transmission and there's not one of those on this transmission. So uh, I'm going to pull out the shift linkage and these little detents. Um, this was one of them as well. It looks like a sensor I guess but it's also a detent. So since the Evo 10 does not actually have a reverse gear but it just does some sort of magic by engaging first and third or something like that. Uh, it's got this little doobob here. So I'm going to have to remove the contents I think and put them into this half and then lower this half of the case down onto it. I, I don't see any other way. So this is just a note for anybody who is having difficulty putting together an Evo 10 transmission. Alright, so I don't know the orientation of the shift forks here, but as I remove this shift fork here, you can see these three prongs, or at least I'm noting this for myself so that later when I try to stick this all back together I have any idea what to do. This is the orientation of that. And uh, they obviously line up there on those three bars, one, two, and the one on the bottom, three. So this lines up with those, I don't know what, what gear is engaged at the moment. All right, let's we'll see if we can figure it out when we put it back together. Alright, all for this stupid little piece. I knew this was going to happen just because I couldn't figure out how to put that in. Now, disassembling the entire gear set, it all comes apart on me. It doesn't look nice and clean like I see on other people do it. Now I'm going to have to read the manual and figure out how all this works because I don't know where any of this goes. I don't know what gear is what. I know I've got a differential here, but aside from that, I'm going to have to make heads or tails of input and output, first and second collars and uh, synchros and shift forks. I don't know what goes where. Uh, it's going to take a while.
bent this when I was taking it out. Uh, when I pulled this half the transmission off, let go of the forks. So be sure that you have this clutch housing side down. Cheating fate by uh, the press to straighten it out and flatten it out. It's not absolutely perfect. I checked it and it just dropped in. All right, so I've siliconed the two halves together. I've siliconed the shifter assembly back on. I've gone ahead and put this bolt back in, partly that holds the reverse assembly in. And uh, then I'll go ahead and put some of these detents back in and then wait for the silicone to dry for a day and then come back and torque it down. So it's always these little things that set me back and take so much time left the transfer case sitting on top of this while I was cleaning it, came back and it had crushed my oil drain pan and it's now leaked all over the floor. So I got to move all of this and clean it out. So it's time for me to start getting this transmission ready to get over to bolt up to the engine. After a year now, I hope I remember where most everything goes. Got a new intake manifold gasket coming soon. It was kind of failing my boost leak test. So when that comes in, I'll remove the intake manifold for like the third time. But I'll stall the transmission here. I'll lower the car back down onto it, bolt it onto a couple of the mounts, and then uh, bring the subframe over and put it up and mount it underneath. 